Hi, it's Carly Page and I'm here with Rebecca and Tom and two BlackBerry Z10 smartphones. Neither of them have either used the smartphone before, so we're going to see how easy it is to get to grips with the new BlackBerry 10 operating system. So, the first thing we want you to try and do is to turn the device on. Okay. Have you done it? <laughs> it's a red light flashing. Here we go. Not on mine. Perfect. Yeah. Hold it down. Cool. One thing we have noticed about the BlackBerry Z10 during our hands-on is that it does take quite a while to turn on. Yes. So you may be left staring at a blank screen for quite some while seconds. before we do the next task. <laughs> oh yes. It's really slow, isn't it? Compared to an iPhone. Yeah. An S3, <laughs> it's really, really slow. It's very slow. Cool, so if you could both shout when that does eventually turn on, and we'll go on to the second task. Still only halfway. It's like the old snake game. <laughs> I'm not even sure what it what it's a symbol of actually. What does it even mean? We're nearly there? Yeah. Ah, there we go. Loaded. Cool. So you were the first one to figure it out. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So the next thing we want you to do is to try and load a web page. Any web page. As soon as you can. Anyone struggling? I can't straight away see the browser. Found it. Yeah, I've got it now. Google. Okay. Cool. How did you find that? Was it fairly easy? Or? Um, it's not an icon that I recognise, no. so it wasn't instantly cool. easy for me to find. The next thing we need you to do to go on to the next task is to try and close that application. Are you still trying to do that, Tom? Or? Yeah, well, I, no, I, I haven't successfully done it yet. <laughs> um, okay, so the quickest way to quit an application is to swipe up from the very bottom of the screen, uh, and that takes you back to the, the home screen. Okay. Okay, there you go. Cool. That's not what I did. <laughs> right, the next thing is to check your email. Okay. Email. I can see an envelope icon on the home screen, but when I press it, it's not opening up. Uh, there's a, an arrow going upwards from the bottom of the screen, but that just opens my Google web browser again. I also uh, found the icon. Hmm. That is tricky. Anyone successfully managed to get into their email? I'm swiping up from the web browser and that's not closing <laughs> either. No. 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 So the, the easiest way to, to get to it is when you're on the main home screen, if you swipe to the right and it will appear from the side of the phone. Swipe to the right. Swipe to the right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it is quite tricky to find, but... Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. Cool. The next one is to turn the phone on silent. Obviously, once you've got out of email. Or is there anything like an iPhone somewhere here? Welcome. Please set up voice control. No. <laughs> silent. What did you press then, Tom? I was trying to press these buttons. Right. None of those then. Um. Any luck? No. I've just, well, I've just gone to settings and turned my volume down. Okay, that that's one way to do it, yeah. Other than that, not obvious. No. Yeah, so you can just go through the settings app from the applications menu and turn the sound off from there. 
which we found so far is the quickest way to do it. Cool, the last task should be the easiest one. We need you to make a phone call. Okay. Cool. Who are we phoning? <laughs> yeah, I'm on the call screen. Should we phone Blackberry? Yeah, I'm on the call screen. Cool, so you both managed that one quite easily. Yeah. yeah, that was quite obvious. Cool, so how did you find it overall? Quite easy to get to grips with or a bit tricky? A bit tricky, definitely. <laughs> Yeah, it's not particularly intuitive, but I guess it's one of those things once you know how to do it once, it becomes becomes easier. Cool. Well, thank you for taking part and thank you for watching. Thank you.